Good morning, my darlings. It is a beautiful, chilly, but very fresh autumnal Sunday morning. Got my coffee and we have already done a little bit of harvesting this morning. I'm still in my pajamas, so I'm not going to flip you around. I'll, sit, I'll spare you the sight. <laughs> we have already harvested. If I pop you up here, I can use my other hand to point out this tree. <laughs> this is our walnut tree down in the kitchen garden. We've already harvested an entire trug full of walnuts from that tree. But we have two more. This tree right in front of me and then the tree over the log store are both walnut trees and it is mid-September to mid-October that you can harvest walnuts. So that's what we're doing this morning. <laughs> this is our first batch of walnuts. Some of them as always happens in our garden, are just absolutely ginormous. The ones you buy in supermarkets, I would say, are normally about this size. Side by side comparison. And there are still so many more to pick. And here is our morning loot. My goodness, I have also never seen walnuts quite this big before. I don't know if I can see it now, but I found an absolute monster. This is probably not too far off. How incredible. I wonder if they'll taste any different, maybe a little bit. I don't know. We shall see. I shall report back in a couple of weeks once they have dried out. Um, so now we have to rinse them in a bucket of cold water and any that float mean that there's no meat or nut inside so we can instantly discard any that float hopefully it won't be too many after all this picking and there are still so many left to pick hopefully my nephews will be coming over soon because it'll be a great task to do with little children a bit of walnut treasure hunting and a proper good morning to you my darlings it is just such a lovely day today it's a very relaxed sunday morning here at the house so we had a very wholesome morning picking our walnuts although a little word of warning if you are also planning on doing any walnut picking they really stain can you see the part yeah my thumb my thumb oh my goodness and the hand that i'm holding the camera with is worse um and not only has it stained both mine and charlie's hands but also charlie just went to put in contact lenses and now his eyes are seriously stinging so that is the sacrifice that we make for picking our own walnuts this year. Um, but what I need to do now is rinse them because you have to basically obviously clean them, but any that float in a sink full of water, it means that they don't have the actual nut inside. So we can toss those, hopefully it won't be too many. And then they need to dry out for a couple of weeks until they are in the form of walnut that we would normally eat. So that's what I'm gonna finish off doing this morning. <laughs> and then shortly we are going to head to Soho Farmhouse. We're gonna meet Rory and Nathan. Well, the plan was for brunch, but I'm hoping that everyone might decide they're in the mood for a Sunday roast because otherwise we're not gonna end up having a roast today. And that is just, just not good enough. <laughs> just not good enough. It is very much a hair scraped back kind of Sunday today, but I have popped on this really gorgeous wrap, excuse my socks and slippers, wrap knit, of course, from Holland Cooper. I've got the roll neck version of this and I love it. It's probably my favorite jumper right now, but this really makes me feel like I'm just wearing a cozy dressing gown when I'm out and about. So the perfect outfit for a Sunday out the house. I love the gold button details, so pretty. And then this is my lovely, um, yes. Dexy, I beg your pardon. This is my lovely pearl. Dexy, please. Mommy's talking. Lariat pearl necklace from Astrid and Mew, which is just so beautiful. One of my absolute favorites. It does always sell out very quickly. So if you can get your hands on this, I would highly recommend not um, waiting around too long because it's so gorgeous. Probably my favorite pearl necklace. And you can, oop, thermal and you can just wear it in so many different ways. Anyway. 
Well, this is not ideal. Apparently, <laughs> if they float, there's no nut or meat, is what they called it inside. Um, and bar none, every single one of my walnuts is floating. So I find that impossible to believe that all of these are empty. Like, they're so heavy. That's definitely got a walnut in it. So I'm just going to give these a clean. Um, don't have time to do them all, but I'll just get these started. And actually, I'll take a few for Rory and Nathan as well, because they do love to also cook and bake with homegrown produce. Well, perhaps my dream of the Sunday roast is not going to happen today because I just had a reminder ping up on my phone that I was due to post an Instagram story for all plants today. So I have just whizzed together. It's very, very quick and easy. I actually did this one in the microwave, took 14 minutes. It is their coconut and ginger curry and it's one of my favorites. It's so delicious. Um, if you've been on the All Plants website before, you might know it's quite overwhelming. There are so many dishes, but they've actually let me do an edit now. So I'll leave a link down below and you can find all of my personal favorites, like the teriyaki udon noodles mm, yummy um and the bacon mac and cheese but yeah i just did this little little um setup for a quick story dickie's just made himself not very comfortable <laughs> on the sofa there's no cushion on there sweetest boy in the world what are you doing on there my sweet little bunny rabbit are you sunbathing in your garden are you sunbathing i just adore you and you're very very sweet you're very sweet you're so sweet. Mummy, it's too bright for me. Oh, I can't have my brother getting attention and not me getting attention. Lovely children. Um, where was I? Yes, I also just mentioned on Instagram, again, proclaiming my love for these little fellas, my velvet pumpkins that I found on Amazon at such a good price. So again, I'll leave these linked down below in case you are looking for some cute little autumn tablescape decor pieces. I love love. We've got a couple of carrot pots in the Excuse the breeze, but we're just having a post-brunch tour of the farmhouse kitchen garden. We've not been down here in quite some time, so lots to, lots to take in. I didn't even realise they were growing their own pumpkins, but I love that they've dedicated an entire raised bed to the pumpkins. They've grown all of their squash. This is what makes me think I've probably not been down here in at least two or three months, but they're growing all their squash vertically up these willow frames, which I think I might do next year. It's a great idea. Um, I think this bed in front of us here is full of garlic, and there are so many orchard trees, apples and pears, completely laden with fruit. It's so beautiful and bustling with produce at this time of year. again my darlings back home again after such a lovely afternoon at the farmhouse with the boys we had the pen yen sunday brunch um which is basically kind of like an all you can eat japanese fusion brunch um we stayed there oh gosh my hands i'm really mortified at the state of my hands when I read online that the black walnuts can stain your skin and your clothes and your nails, I was like, oh, it's fine. I've dealt with fake tan stains before. This is worse. It's actually disgusting. And I have washed my hands with so much shampoo and wash and scrub so much. But 
I literally look as though I've come straight in from the garden and it's really embarrassing. So I'm gonna, I think I might try some fake tan eraser. I'm sure I've got some somewhere. Um, but yeah, really lovely brunch at the farm. And then we had a little wander around, as you just saw, went around the kitchen gardens and now home again. I've made myself a lemon, ginger and manuka honey tea. And also my homemade pumpkin and banana loaf. I followed the Thermomix recipe. Um, and I'm now on day four of enjoying this. So good. It is such a glorious afternoon. I think we're gonna take the boys for a little walk across the fields because they were in the car for a long time yesterday, going to and from London for George's party. So they definitely deserve a nice long walk. But before I go, I would really like to do a little, a little advent calendar unboxing with you because the day that this video goes live is the day that the Astrid and Mew jewellery Christmas advent calendar will become on sale and last year if I remember correctly it sold out within like 48 hours it sold out within two days so if I don't share this with you now you basically don't stand a chance of getting it so I feel very very privileged to have one right here that I can unbox and share with you so this is the 202022 how many 20s did I just say? 2022 Astrid and Mew Jewelry Advent Calendar. It comes in silver and gold. And it, I believe this year it comes in two sizes as well. So you can either get the 24 day version or you can get the 12 day version depending on your preference, how much jewelry you want um, or budget, of course. Last year, I actually gifted this to Scarlett, uh, Charlie's younger sister, for her Christmas present, and I have never seen someone so excited by a gift before. I remember last year, spoiler alert, there was actually a voucher in here to go and get a piercing and to get something of your choice from the store, which I thought was such an amazing thing to put in an advent calendar because it means that it can be completely personal. It's literally one of those gifts that you just can't get wrong giving someone the opportunity to go and choose their own jewellery, as well as the many pieces that are already in here, I think is magical. It's also such a beautiful box, oh my goodness. Um, so many ways that you could reuse this afterwards. It's got little, in fact, you could use this as your jewellery holder. So this is, of course, the 24 day version. Oh my goodness, so many jewellery treats in here. I don't wanna get the details wrong, so I'm gonna put the price of the calendar and also what it's worth on the screen here because it's always an astronomical <laughs> saving um, and I'm just gonna open up a few of these just to give you a little glimpse as to the beautiful bits that you might find inside so I've just opened up day number 19 I won't open up all of them because I have a feeling oh my goodness <gasps> I have not seen these before. So this is something else. As well as for hardcore Astrid and Mew fans, there are often pieces in the calendar that are exclusive that you don't even find on the website. I'm actually embarrassed to be showing you these up close because you're gonna get an up close view of my awful nails. <sighs> Who'd have thought walnuts would stain your nails so badly? So can you see they are just these really beautiful, tiny little hoops and I love that these closed hoops um, mean that you can sleep in them or if you can wear them on a long journey and they don't have a butterfly at the back so they don't end up digging into you and then they've got these beautiful three hanging stars. They look so lovely. I love a subtle hoop. It just means that you can wear them, oh my thumb, <laughs> it just means that you can wear them every single day and yet because they've got these hanging um, probably cubic zirconia diamonds just adds that little bit of extra st extra sparkle but in such a subtle way and I feel like if you are very cool and you've got a load of piercings these will look so great stacked up. Astronomy always think very carefully about stacking whether it's on the ear, the AM ear stack or on your necklace of course you could wear a shorter or longer necklace with something chunky like this and also your rings but I think they are so elegant. I love them. Up next, I have just opened up day number 16 and I was wondering how they would get around this because this is a ring and obviously everyone is different ring sizes but this is one which you can actually, can you see on my walnut stained hands, um, that it's actually a style of ring that you can adjust so you can just squeeze it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Again, I don't think I've seen this one on the website before. 
There must be loads of exclusives in this calendar. How gorgeous that would look as part of a ring stack. I just love how classic all of these pieces are. They work so beautifully with your everyday jewellery. You can wear just one piece by itself. You can stack it up. I'm going to open one of the big boxes next. This is number three. It's one of those things I don't really know where to stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I have these. <laughs> so this is a very clever kind of illusion um, kind of earring because it looks like, can you see, it looks like it's two hoops but it is in fact only one hoop. So if you want to create the illusion of having a double piercing but in fact you've only got one then these are absolutely perfect for that. I also just love their branding. The colour of these little bags is so gorgeous. And then I think I'm going to stop after this one because I don't want to ruin it for any of you guys that will be lucky enough to either receive or treat yourself to one of these advent calendars this year. So this is, this was hidden behind door number 18 and it is a, uh, how do I hide my thumb? Oh my god. <laughs> it is a double chain necklace so similar to those earrings it is in fact one chain but it gives the appearance of two so if you are looking to create a little bit of a necklace cluster it just makes it so much easier it is in fact let's take this one off for a little minute so if you just want something really simple and elegant then you can just wear this one by itself or you can imagine wearing with a lovely pendant as well. If you're the kind of person that doesn't want to, that wants to have like a signature necklace that you never take off then this is a really gorgeous option. It's just very delicate, very simple and the kind of thing that goes with every single outfit and because the chains are so fine I just literally would never take this off. Guys, stop the press. I have just read more information. Not only is this calendar worth over £1,400? You'll have seen that on the screen earlier. But you can actually personalise this advent calendar for either yourself or whoever you're gifting it for. So it says you can personalise your advent calendar by choosing your zodiac sign and your birthstone. How amazing, as if this couldn't be a better gift. The calendar includes 23 pieces of jewellery stacking heaven, two of which are individually personalised. Five of which are exclusive to the advent calendar, as well as a £100 voucher behind one of the doors. You can use the voucher online or in store to purchase your wishlist items. And it also includes in-store services such as piercings, tattoos, and welding bracelets. Oh my goodness. I just think for a jewellery lover, an Astrid and Mew lover, someone who is maybe starting to experiment with stacking jewellery then this could not be a better gift so I feel very very lucky to have one here that I've been able to share with you darlings. Um, as I mentioned it sold out super quickly last year I have no doubt that it'll probably sell out even more quickly this year because word has spread as to how good it was last year so darlings pause the video it'll be linked I will link it actually at the very top of the description box so you don't have to go too far um, and I really hope you manage to get it in time treat yourself treat a loved one send this link to your friends family brother boyfriend husband whoever is feeling very generous this Christmas I've actually had a rummage through my post and it says that this has also come from Astro and Mew and I think it might be a few new pieces that I've wanted to add to my collection for a while. So sticking with the theme, let's open this together. Wow, wow, wow. I think this is without doubt my absolute best jewellery haul I think ever. There are so many stunning pieces here. I am going to leave every single piece linked down below darlings because they are so sensational once again i'm going to apologize for the last time about the state of my hands as i show you these pieces and then we're going to go on a mission to see if we can get rid of these disgusting stains so oh my gosh where do we even start this is giving me formula one memory vibes <laughs> the final lap flag um but it is in reality probably called like a harlequin pattern or something but i love just the organic shape of these earrings and then I went for the matching ring as well which I think will look so fun. Excuse me while I crouch down and do a little try on. Oh that is so gorgeous. I love it. Um, let's pop on a few more rings while we're here. So this is one that I've had for a little while. This little are we focused? Are we focused? Stack it up with some other Astrid and Mew favourites and then this here is a new one. This is more of a kind of 
signet style ring and I just absolutely love how they look. Maybe I should put that one on fourth finger. Yeah, love that as a fabulous ring stack. Do we want something a little bit more sparkly? I remember when Astrid and Mew released this collection last year, I literally thought it was the best ring collection I have ever seen. <laughs> it's so sparkly, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I'm not sure that I would wear this many rings in one go, but they do look so gorgeous, all stacked together. Oh my gosh, I don't think I have a future as a hand model. Oh, I just can't decide which is my favorite. I'm gonna have so much fun playing around with different ring combinations. I'm really surprised by how much I love the kind of checkerboard one. I think that is such a different addition to my ring collection. So then we have got the checkerboard, I need to find the official name of these, the earrings, I just absolutely love them. I think that could be my new favorite collection. I can never make an Astrid and Mew order without looking at their new pearl pieces. These have almost got a very kind of subtle champagne-y pink tint to them, which I think is so elegant and I just love the size of these very delicate little hoops. If you're just looking for a subtle pearl that you can wear on a daily basis i feel like these are absolutely perfect um is this a necklace or a bracelet oh it's a new style of necklace i love their t-bar style necklaces again i think they layer so beautifully really great especially at this time of year with your knitwear because I always think it looks so elegant when you've got a lovely knit and then just a very beautiful necklace peeking through. Okay, so I have decided to keep on the T-Bar chain necklace. I will leave all of these pieces linked down below. Just don't want to take off any of the rings <laughs> because I love them all. So I'm going to keep these on. I will play around with different ring clusters over the next few weeks and months, no doubt. Um, and I just am a little bit obsessed with these earrings. I feel like this is the kind of earrings that people are gonna, people are gonna wanna ask you about these earrings. They're, they're the kind of style that will definitely attract a comment, that is for sure. It's such a an kind of like obvious design, but also I've never seen jewelry with this kind of checkerboard print on it. I just love them, so. Gorgeous, gorgeous pieces from Astrid and Mew. Um, now, my darlings, I have another delivery here which I've accidentally completely shredded from Wild Nutrition. Ooh, we have got some reports here. Social impact report. My goodness, I actually love things like this. Our 3.5 billion years in the making, a system of 206 bones, 30 trillion cells, 90,000 miles of nerves passing signals from head to toe. You're the memory of learning to ride your bike and scars from when you tumbled off. Your first love, first promotion, first child, first hot flush, and losses that lim linger forever. This is lovely. It's just an information um, piece about wild nutrition, the importance of um, why they use the finest natural ingredients in their supplements, from our organic ashwanga from southern India to our magnesium distilled with purified seawater. I'm really, really glad that I discovered Wild Nutrition recently. I think that everything the brand stands for is amazing. There's more information about what they do for the planet and for charity in here. This is almost like an investor's report. Like if, ooh, I wonder if I can invest in Wild Nutrition. It's definitely a company that I would like to put more into. How they look after their workforce. Amazing, I will look forward to having a little read through that. Ooh, they've sent me something top secret, which they might be bringing out in November. <gasps> and that is gonna be a game changer, if and when they do. Oh my gosh. Um, little reminder, I do currently, as of right now, still have my 25% off code for Wild Nutrition, but it is soon gonna go back down to 15%. So make the most of the 25% off if you would like to, um, before it goes back down. I'll leave a link down below. I would recommend having a quick call with them if you're new to supplements, um, speaking to the nutritionalists. It's free for a 15 minute call. It's really not intense at all. It's not salesy or pushy at all. Just very educational, helps them to understand your lifestyle, your diet, um, what you're looking for, whether it's more energy, um, whether it's something for endometriosis or menopause, whatever stage of your life you're at. They'll chat through it with you. Oop, that is the secret product. Um, and recommend some supplements for you. I have got a top up of some of my favorites here. I think it's very important to take supplements at this time of year. 
because we will not be getting enough vitamin D throughout the day. I don't eat fish, so I need my omega supplements. And if you really don't want to do a 15 minute call and you just want something that'll take care of you from head to toe, I would recommend, I've just put these aside to put in a suitcase for an upcoming trip. These are the little sachets of the women's daily essentials. And it's just everything you need to keep you taking over. Um, hopefully not get a cold throughout autumn and winter. Just making sure you are topped up on all of your vitamin and nutrient levels in a very clean, natural and safe way. Big fan, big fan of Wild Nutrition. So do check it out. What else have I got a top up of? Magnesium, that is what I need at this time of year for my tiredness. Two magnesiums a day. And this is my endo complex. Immune support. If you are the kind of person that just always gets a bug at this time of year, especially when it starts to get cold, then, um, this is a food grown immunity support. So it's not anything chemically, nothing unnatural. They literally just see what nature is providing to help our bodies deal with illnesses in the way that they should in a natural way. Um, and always the highest, highest, highest quality. I am a big, big fan. And how kind, Charlie is gonna love this. They have sent over one of their bedtime candles from Neon. I bet this smells amazing. <sighs> makes me want to go to bed right now. Lovely. Right, my battery needs changing and I need to take the voice for a walk. Good morning, my darlings. It is Monday morning. I am driving to my Monday morning Pilates and I just had to pull over because it is the most beautiful sunrise this morning it is going to be the most gorgeous autumn day and the drive that i drive to dalesford and also our drive to soho farmhouse they are they have to be two of the most beautiful drives in the world <laughs> not even in the cotswolds oh, just look at this rolling hills mist coming off the ground and my battery is about to die but how beautiful Okay, my darlings, great start to Monday morning with Reformer Pilates with Alex. And then Walnut Stain Gate continues. So this morning I tried fake tan remover, I tried teeth whitening pen, and still my hands and nails are covered in walnut stain. So I just managed to sneak in for a very quick nail gel removal service at Bamford, thinking that maybe that might help. Well, now my nails are clean, but the staining Hello again my darlings, I apologise, my battery died mid-chat, can't remember what I was saying but it was probably something to do with my nails, walnut gate as it will hereforth be known. Um, yeah, so basically the state of the nails is still very stained and also feeling a little bit raw um, with all of the different techniques that I have tried to um, clear them. I'm going to not talk about it anymore because it's probably the most boring thing in the world but as though the heavens have tried to show me an answer. I had a delivery this morning from um, Manicurist, Green Flash, and they are the ones, funnily enough, they actually use Green Flash and Manicurist at Bamford. It's an organic, um, it is a gel nail varnish, but it's a lot better for you than normal gels, and it comes off just as easily as normal nail varnish. T it takes a tiny bit longer, but very, very easily. Um, and they've sent me their new autumn colours, so I am going to do an at-home manicure this evening. So we've got this lovely taupey brown colour. I think Hortensia is the name of the shade that I normally wear from them. Instant dry, extra long wear. That looks almost the same. Oh. 
<laughs> They've sent me two of the same, which is great, because actually I will get a lot of wear from that colour. We've got a very kind of rich orangey shade, almost like a periwinkle. Don't normally go for those colours, but you never know. The mood might strike. This is probably, ooh, hmm, I like the green. We've got a green and a brown, very kind of autumn leaves kind of colours. So I feel like that is going to be my after working hours activity sorted. Also had some deliveries, including this really incredible, it's called a Sacred Mist Eau de Parfum from a brand called Cosmos, which I don't know much about, but I just spritzed that. It's very heavy. It's really the heaviest perfume bottle that I've got. Um, and it's really lovely. And then we've also got something from them, um, a face cleanser. Really cool branding. And a Golden Nectar CBD Pro Collagen Oil. Hmm. Love that. Love a bit of CBD and a face cream. I mean, it looks and feels very expensive. So we shall see. What's this from Beauty Pie? Ooh, reusable, changeable lipsticks. That's clever. We've got a new face mask here from Origins. Ginseng Energizing Gel Cream. Ooh, did it always have niacinamide in it? I don't know, but I mentioned before, this was the first range that I ever vlogged about beauty-wise. So big fan of the Origins Ginseng range. It smells amazing. Do they do vitamin C capsules? If not, they definitely should within that range because no one does vitamin C like Origins. <laughs> Full expansion serum from Shiseido in a very futuristic packaging. Ooh. Don't know if I was meant to open it that way. Very cool, need to read up about that because my serum routine at the moment is pretty good. Ooh, peace of mind on the spot relief from Origins when your head feels a size too small. Ah, so this is like the Origins version of that forehead product for headaches. Very handy, very handy. That's a great little shout from Origins. I'll let you know next time I have a headache whether it works. And what have we got here from Current Body? It looks like an adult dummy and I think this is an LED device for your lips so you'll know that I'm obsessed with LED. Um, was it last video I was using my teeth whitening which my teeth whitening device actually has LED in it which is very good for your gums apparently um, and LED in general is great for your skin because it makes your skin think that it's damaged even though it's not and then your skin starts to repair itself um, and it's very good for anti-aging so this is for your lips so if you are or were a smoker, this could be very good for you, or if you're starting to get fine lines around your lips. Amazing, I mean, you're going to look like a, like a baby when you're using that, because it's literally like a dummy. But I love LED devices, so I can't wait to give that a try. Anyway, I'm distracting myself. I wasn't meant to be going through um, new beauty products right now, because you may have spotted my coffee is at the perfect drinking temperature. Um, you may have spotted a rail of coats behind me. Today's the day that I'm doing the big autumn summer wardrobe switch over. So I'm going to be taking stuff from the very big cupboard at the back there, which is currently full of dresses. I'm going to be taking them all out um, and swapping them into that cupboard there, which is currently full of a small selection of my coats. I will then choose a small selection of dresses to keep out there and the rest will go into storage. So here we have got the coats that were in storage. I think I must have had a really big coat clear out at the end of last autumn winter because that and the stuff that's in that wardrobe now cannot be my full coat collection. It's just not enough, not enough coats for a coataholic like me. Uh, so I thought I would just really quickly, I'll put something more autumnal on, um, try all of those coats on and decide if I want to keep them all. I probably will because it looks like they are the ones that made the cut from last year's cull by the looks of it. So I thought we'd try them on together, have a little reminder of the coats that are currently in my wardrobe. I have already got a few new coats for this year, which can be added to the collection. And then we need to do the big change around. So let's get cracking. I also have not worn my brace enough today because we, for the past couple of hours since I spoke to you in the car, have had Jake, our videographer here. We've been shooting some stuff. So I've not had my brace in since 12 o'clock and it's currently half three. This is the longest I've ever been without it. So as soon as I finish my coffee, I'm gonna brush my teeth and put it in. And that was so boring and I can't believe I even told you that. 
Okay, my darlings, you'll have to forgive um, the state of the coats because they have been in a plastic bag or a suitcase for the best part of a year. So I'm hoping that a lot of the creases will drop out. This is one of those coats that I remember loving and now I'm like, don't see it. Don't see the love. So this, it would help if it was steamed and fresh and crease free, but this is my trench coat from Theory, just a really classic trench coat. But then when things are as classic and timeless as this, as this, I think, is there any point in getting rid of them because they are so timeless? Um, I, pro I probably will <laughs> keep this. It is a very good quality trench. It's not lined, so it's good for this time of year when you just need a little bit of outerwear. I do love a robe style. Yeah, actually I do really like it. Um, I'll probably put it in my LG fashion fridge, as I call it, and get the creases to drop out. But yeah, okay, that's the first one. Classic trench coat, just needs a steam. Okay, up next is this boucle kind of coat from LK Bennett. It is a classic white boucle, nothing too fancy about it, just a simple boxy kind of coat. I've noticed that there is a little bit of a stain here. It looks like a coffee stain. Um, I don't know why I didn't send it to dry cleaners at the end of last year, but there we go. I think I am actually going to donate this one because I actually worked with LK Bennett on their autumn 2022 collection. So I've got the this year version of this, which has got a really gorgeous fluffy um, collar. You might remember I showed you in a vlog a couple of weeks ago. I'll pop the clips on the screen here. And it's so similar, and I do believe that the collar is actually removable. So therefore, it's kind of two coats in one. So as gorgeous and classic as this is, I think I'm going to move it on to another home. Okay, so any long time Fashion Mumbler viewers may know and remember this coat. It is a little clue, it is from Kate Spade. And if you guys do remember this coat, you will know why I will absolutely be keeping this because some things in my wardrobe just bring back the most amazing memories and one of the best work trips that I have ever been on was a trip to New York about four or five years ago with Kate Spade. Um, Charlie got to come too, it was really magical and just really wonderful memories of being in New York with the Kate Spade team and they gifted me this coat as part of that trip there are, yes, coats in my wardrobe that I love far more than this one, to be honest, with how they look, but the, yeah, the memories behind this one mean that I will keep it forever. <laughs> I think there's something a little bit kind of Cruella de Vil about it. I love the faux fur on the sleeves, on the neckline. It's not dissimilar in its silhouette and fluffy areas to the LK Bennett one that I've got for this year, but yeah, great memories and I love it. <laughs> Okay, this is very much Josie that lived in London. This was the kind of coat that I would literally wear every day in the autumn winter months. It is a robe style long line coat with a faux fur around the neckline and a robe closure. This one here is from Club Monaco. It was pretty darn expensive, but I thought, you know what, that is just such a Josie coat. And I felt that it was very much worth, what is this? Label. Um, I felt that it was worth every penny. I got so much use out of this. If I'm completely honest, it's potentially not as much my style anymore living out in the countryside, um, but it is such a beautiful coat, such beautiful quality that I won't get rid of it because you never know, one day I might have a requirement for something like this. It's also quite nice if I do have a dinner in London or something, um, especially in winter there's some lovely things that we like to go to like the ballet or theatre, things like that, and it's quite a smart dress coat, so great for those kinds of occasions, so I shall be keeping this one. If you're wondering why I'm trying everything on with something with the label in, I was deciding whether or not to keep this. Um, I thought it was just a super affordable like and other stories jump up, but it's actually a reformation piece from Netta Porter with the tag still in. So I actually think that I'm going to, um, again, move it to a better home because I've not worn it. I don't even remember when I got it, so I've not worn it in absolutely in months. So this is my, I think it's from Sandro. It's kind of like a cape um, with the holes for the sleeves. It's a bit of a, an unusual piece. However, I've got to say, 
I got a lot of wear out of this last winter. Um, I find it so snuggly. I love that my arms are free so I can drive, I can do stuff. Um, I find it really practical, far more practical than you would think a coat like this would be. Seeing as it is quite unusual, you can belt it if you want. If it gets really chilly, you can snuggle up into it. With all of these, they probably won't be in stock anymore, but I'll try and find something similar and leave them linked down below. So yes, gonna keep this one. Oh my gosh, I have been so excited to wear my Holland Cooper coats again. I absolutely love these. Again, they need a little bit of um, steaming. I just think that the Holland Cooper coats are so elegant. I always think of Kate Middleton. I'm pretty sure she's got one. Um, this is my Scottish tartan one, which I absolutely love. Will forever remind me of our trip up to Scotland. I think that was in January or February this year. I love it. It's not too thick, so you don't feel restricted or boxed in in any way. It is such an elegant length. Not that you can really see if I stand in this corner, you can see the length. Um, you can cinch it in around the waist. It's got these pockets, pockets here. I just think they are so timeless, so elegant, um, and they will stay in my collection forever. I feel very fortunate to have a few versions of this coat, including quite possibly my favourite coat of all time. This is the green tartan Holland Cooper trench coat. The girls in the store did show me a really cool way of tying this where it looked great, but I'm just gonna leave that for now. I love the colour of this. It is very countryside ambassador for Holland Cooper kind of colours. Um, I just think, again, super timeless, super classic, and for our life out here in the Cotswolds now, it is just absolutely perfect. Any special events, any anything that we do, whether it's going for a really nice pub meal or going for a class at Dalesford, whatever we do, this kind of outerwear is an instant way of elevating an outfit, so no question about it. I will most definitely be keeping this coat for the rest of my life. Now this is one that I'm not sure what to do with or about because it's one that again in London I wore a lot and I loved it, but I just don't know if it's me anymore, which is mad how someone's style can change so much, but where you live obviously dictates a lot of your wardrobe. I know Charlie's had this conundrum. It is what it was one of my favourite coats from Reese. It's kind of like a silky finish. Great again for special evenings out in London, but I just feel that I have other things in my wardrobe now that I'd wear over this. It's really beautiful. You can see the fabric with a silky sheen to it. And I can't deny it's a gorgeous coat, but I know that I didn't wear it at all last autumn winter. Not once. I think I might actually wait for your opinions on this one and hold it for now. Let me know what you think I should do, because am I going to want to wear this coat in five years' time? It's still in great condition. It is timeless. I did love it at one point. Will I love it again? Let me know what you guys would do. I'm actually skipping ahead on the rail to show you this one, because it's very similar, also from Reese. In fact, probably the same pattern, um, same silhouette obviously a different fabric with a different detail on it so it is a kind of hound's tooth if you've had a glass of wine it can make you go a bit dizzy looking at it but I think I prefer this one I think it's a little bit more wearable um, if I want to make a bit of a statement it's a little bit funky with the pattern on it I think I'm more likely to wear this than the silvery one that I just showed you very easy to wear great for this time of year not too heavy not too thick looks really nice with just a lovely pair of boots these are gorgeous, by the way. Let me show you these in more detail. They are from Fairfax and Favour, and they've got this really beautiful detail going across um, the front of the foot. Really lovely. In fact, these are absolutely stunning. The more I look at them, the more I admire them. They obviously need some liquid-proof spray on them. Beautiful leather detail on the heel, leather strap going across there. I think they look so elegant, absolutely beautiful. Um, they fit me really, really nicely. They've got zips that go all the way down, so very easy to get on and off. There's that signature Fairfax and Favour lining. I think they're stunning. So well, so well made. Um, and they look great. As the bit that you can see protruding from your outerwear. Yeah, I, I really do like this coat. I've loved it from the day that I got it. I remember all my photo shoots in London when I first got it, and I loved those snaps. 
Um, so yeah, definitely going to keep this one. Oops, what's this? Where's this come from? That has come from my Holland Cooper Scotland coat. Let's stick that in the pocket for next time. By the way, these are only my full length coats. <laughs> the shorter ones are still in another cupboard. I need to have a look through those another day. This is from a brand called Stan Studio, which I definitely discovered in 2020. Um, and I have got a few coats from Stan Studio, all of which I absolutely love. Ooh, face mask. <laughs> Stick that on the bam. I wonder if you, I've never had COVID, but I wonder if you had COVID, wore a face mask and put it in your coat pocket one year and then two years later you pull it out and you're like, oh, I really need a face mask and put it on again. Would you catch your COVID from two years ago? I wonder, <laughs> any doctors out there? Um, but yes, love this one, teddy bear, super soft, literally like wearing your dressing gown in public, so snuggly, nice deep pockets. I'm a big fan of this and definitely a keeper. Okay, this one I don't know about. So I've had this for a couple of years. It's Burberry. It was from the Outnet, um, but it's still got the labels in it and I think it's too big for me. Are we getting deja vu with a Gucci coat? And I really hope I don't find myself, well I've already worn the Gucci coat, um, but I've actually never worn this one out of the house aside from maybe the old photo shoot. I think it's just too bulky on me. Oh, it's such a shame because it's so gorgeous. I mean, it's a Burberry trench coat, but it's too big for me, isn't it? This is a tragedy. This is a tragedy. And is it about time that I just admitted defeat? Do you know what I'm going to do? Because I can't permanently say goodbye to this. I think I might actually send this to buy rotation where you can rent some of my wardrobes, so a lot of my dresses, needle and thread, Zimmerman, sparkly evening dresses, you can rent my wardrobe through by rotation. I think I'm gonna list it on there so that people can rent it, but I don't, I don't have to permanently say goodbye to it. Another ultra fluffy number, this time without the robe tie and without the um, collar, so it's a little bit more simple in its silhouette. And maybe sometimes I might want a more simple teddy coat to the ultra bulky Stan Studio one. I do find coats like this very, very wearable um, and I don't think they'll go out of fashion anytime soon. So this one from LK Bennett about four years ago is gonna be a keeper. For some reason, I actually even know the style name of this coat. This is the Reese Lawson coat and it is the most worn coat in my entire wardrobe. It is the classic. It's also the coat that many of you may have in your wardrobe because I think the Reese team told me that we sold more of this coat in an autumn season than their flagship store sold of this coat. <laughs> so a lot of you guys bought this coat. Um, I absolutely love it. Loved it the year that I got it, about five years ago. Love it to this day. It's so classic. It's so timeless. Why would you ever not need a coat like this in your wardrobe? Um, they do bring out variations of this year after year, so hopefully the 2022 version will be out soon and I will link it when it does come out. It's so warm and so timeless. And then finally, on this rail, <laughs> We have got this lovely, super sheep-like coat from Sandro, very snuggly. Um, I think I've already made my love of teddy coats quite clear. I find snuggly coats the best, especially living out here. This is the kind of thing that you need. Just want to be snuggly warm, very practical, um, great with a crossbody bag. So yes, nice deep pockets. Another keeper. In this cupboard here, are the coats that I love so much that I didn't even want to put away at the end of the season. So we've got more coats in here. We've got my white double-breasted Reese coat that needs to go to the dry cleaner. We've got, what's this? Ooh, another kind of fancy coat from Reese. Oh, look at my dirty hand. Can you believe what I've gone through? Sorry, I said I wasn't gonna talk about it anymore. Um, hmm, yeah, that is actually a really good smart coat. My duvet coat. Another gorgeous one from, I think this is Stan Studio, another Teddy, another gorgeous Holland Cooper that I wore in my reel the other day, another trench from Reese. Uh, what's that? That's actually a cardigan, another cardigan, 
my Dior coat. Can't wait to wear you again, my darling. Chloe cape, cardigan, Holland Cooper trench in pink from Victoria's collection, and cardigan. So all of these, and all of these, are now going to go, excuse the mess, in that wardrobe there, and the dresses are going to come out of there, get sorted, get organised, get cleared out, and the remaining dresses will then go forth and live in here. That is, ladies and gentlemen, the big autumn wardrobe switchover. I'm going to take my boots off, take off this jumper, which I've decided I'm not going to keep, put my brace in, and do the switch. darlings i thought seeing as i shared with you the astrid and mew advent calendar i would share with you a few more which have arrived for my perusal <laughs> over the last couple of days this one here is from bobby brown so a really wonderful one for any beauty lovers 12 day advent calendar i always wonder when you start these do you start them on the 1st of december or the 12th I'm not too sure. Don't even need to open this one up because I can share with you what's inside in this little sneak peek here. Some of my favourites from the brand. So you've got the vitamin enriched face base, you've got their highlight, their lip tint, their mascara and some things that I've not tried before. I've not tried their illuminating moisture balm. That sounds rather lovely. They all look like they're going to be fairly mini sizes. I guess things like the eyeshadow um, and the lip balms are probably full size. And I always think that beauty advent calendars are such a great way of finding new favourites from, from your favourite beauty brands or discovering something completely new. Looks really festive as well with the gold box. So that is Bobbi Brown. I always think that L'Occitane do an amazing job with their festive offering. And their advent calendar is very sustainable. It, it's actually made of cloth and very easy to reuse. You could repack this with little goodies for your children or for a niece or nephew. And the bits that you get in the L'Occitane calendar are always so, so useful. Let's have a little peek inside day number seven. Ooh, this is the shampoo that I used when we were in Kefalonia. It smells absolutely amazing. Their reparative intense shampoo, very helpful for when you are on the go. What other little goodies have we got in here? Oh my gosh, I feel like I want to use this tonight. This is the lavender foaming bath, bath foam. <laughs> Smells absolutely heavenly. That is always my go-to for an ultra relaxing bathing experience. So this you can hang on the back of doors. You could hang it inside a cupboard. Um, a little bit too heavy to hang on a Christmas tree. And this is 165 pounds worth over 235 in eco alternative. Ooh, that's a good idea. Good for keeping keys, jewelry or arts and crafts supplies in. Includes a selection of the brand's most iconic products, including the Immortel Divine Cream, oh my gosh, and the Reset Serum, two of my absolute favourites. So I can't wait to undo my little Lux Tan pieces as we go into December. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're thinking about December already. And then I'm not sure if I've seen a Clinique advent calendar before. They have gone for a simple box style. It looks like there's some really big pieces in here. Let's have a little sneak peek. I'll have a, an open of day number 18. Again, a really great way of discovering new favourites, trying something new from the brand. Seven day scrub cream. Is that a seven day supply? Rinse off formula. It's actually a very good size for a travel product. Great way of actually getting to know whether it's something that you want to repurchase or not. Uh, let's have a look behind day number 11. I feel like these beauty advent calendars sell out so quickly. You literally have to make up your mind in October which ones you want, which is totally bonkers. Uh, I'm so tempted to see what is behind this ginormous day number 16. I bet that is a take the day off cleansing balm, which I absolutely love. That looks like full size rinse off foaming cleanser. I always used to love using a Clinique foaming cleanser with my cleansing brush. Always felt like I just got such a super deep, um, almost squeaky clean feeling. And that is a very good size. So I will leave all of these advent calendars linked down below. And now is the time. Now is the time to either treat yourself or send some serious hints. 